the hazards of van life that I didn't even know. But it'll feel more like a tiny home. Though. Like a home. That's yeah. what we're shooting for. Back to work. Aaron's out here distracting me. We're Aaron and Brandon, and we're in the process of converting this Ram Promaster into a camper van so that we can eventually go on an epic road trip to every national park in the continental United States. The past few weeks we have sound dampened, added ventilation, put down the flooring, and now we have moved on to the big task of running the electrical. Today we're starting the electrical. Uh, we've laid the floors and we want to get the insulation in, but before we do that, to make it easier on ourselves, we want to run our wires for our 12 volt and 120 volt appliances. We've got about 11 12 volt loads as of now, so we're going to try to run those. And then two 120 volt loads, which are just the refrigerator and then three or four outlets that we have scattered throughout the van. The rest of the diagram gets a little complicated up in here, but we'll worry about that another day. Today's our first rainy day of the build, so we're gonna start working on running our electrical all throughout this van. Let's get started. still have a bit of a mess here because we just want to make sure that the floor really is secured down before we take anything off. What do we got going on here? Well, we're going to start running conduit. Since we're not doing spray foam, we have to run conduit throughout the van. This is our panel and we're going to put it back here with the batteries. It'll go somewhere like here. So we're going to start running all the conduit for our 12 volt appliances through here, up, and throughout the van. It's gonna be a challenge, I've never done this before. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna wrap it off again. I'm just trying to get enough so that we can come over. Been running electrical for a couple hours now and I've ran the two USB outlets that'll be beside our bed so we can charge our phones and whatever else and then also four LCD ceiling lights. When you say LCD do you mean LED? LED. <laughs> oh man I even put that on the wire. <laughs> I sound like an idiot. LEDs. I'm, I don't know. I'm running the electrical. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Having fun. That power is actually connected to anything yet. We're just running running the 12 volt lines. The conduit takes a while to run. Um, it's necessary to protect the wires, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. Back to work. Aaron's out here distracting me. Okay, I'm gonna go then. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. And I'll lock you in there. Oh, we yeah. go. So today is day two of working on the electrical system. Brandon has been working very hard. I, however, there's not much for me to do because it seems like it's a one person job, but I'm on standby so that when Brandon needs me, I'm here to help. So instead of just wasting away here, I'm gonna work out. Timmy's helping us cut the strapping so we can start seeing where our walls and ceiling will be. We've already got the floor in. 
but these are a little trickier especially since the van has all kinds of contours there's parts that come out further some that are further in so it's going to be a bit of a challenge to lay a nice flat wall across the entire van that's what we're dealing with right now try and figure out today i'm going to finish the electric The great thing about having a van is it's a great place to store things. <laughs> Yesterday on Memorial Day, I was able to sneak in and get some work done on the van after I was finished working. But seven of the 14 circuits have been run. There's conduit all over the place, wires all over the place, chaos. But yet it's all working pretty well. Once we put in the insulation, it hopefully it won't look like such a mess. But that's all for tonight. Closing up. I'm hoping today is the last day that I'm working on running the electrical. I have one more circuit left to run for the 12 volt, and then I have to run two circuits for the 120. That'll be for three to four outlets. I still haven't decided how many outlets we'll have, and also for the refrigerator. So hopefully, before it gets dark out, I will have that finished. I'm not gonna shave my beard until I've got that finished, so you'll know if I still have a beard tomorrow. <laughs> I finally finished the 12 volt wiring, which is a huge relief. There's still work to be done with that. Once I put the switches in, then I'll have to do some wiring from the device to the switch. But everything has been terminated back at the panel, which is great. Again, on this side, it looks nice and clean, but on the back, it's a bit of a mess. I wish I had bought 250 foot of this other wire where the red and black are combined in the white casing. I just bought the red and black separately and it's just been such a pain. So don't make my mistake if you're going through a van build as well, buy the stuff that's together. I'll link it below. Today I'm officially going to finish the electrical wiring. You can see I did not shave my beard because I didn't finish it yesterday. But today I'm going to finish it by running the 120 volt wiring for the outlets. We'll have one GFCI outlet that's wired in series with three additional outlets and they'll all be protected under that GFCI outlet. To be fair, right now I'm just running the cable. I'll do all the terminations later, but I am terminating to the cabinet so that I know everything's good in there. Later on, when we have walls and everything, I'll install the outlets. As you can see, the van is an absolute mess nowadays. There's stuff everywhere. We went and bought these roof racks for the solar today. It's just crazy in here. Hopefully we can get some, some stuff installed so that we can get all this crap out of the way. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough cable to finish, so it's not my fault that I didn't finish, but I definitely would have. The 12 gauge wire for the 120 volt circuits, it's so much easier to run because all three wires are encased in one white cable strand and it's very secure so I don't feel like it needs conduit. But unfortunately I ran too short and I still need to run across the van for one more outlet. So for now it'll have to do, but I think we can still move on with the build and I should get the wires Monday. I already ordered it on Amazon, so should be good but moving forward for now. Now that Brandon finished up the electrical, I am here to help with the bed frame. So we're gonna start putting up the two by fours for the bed. Time to start drilling into this van. We had to go out and get two and three quarter inch screws because we're gonna start drilling the bed frame in right here. We've just got some two by fours, trying to get that strength. I think later we'll bolt it in so that's even stronger, but for now we're just putting screws up so then we can start with the strappings for the walls. Once we have the strappings for the walls, we can put in the insulation. So there's a lot of things that are happening all at the same time. So right now, it seems open, we've got the floor in, but other than that, not much. Once we do this, it's really gonna start coming together, let me tell you. Okay. 
that'll do, do for now. We'll put bolts in later and like really secure that, but at least we know where the frame will be. Yeah. So it's good for now. Cool. It feels good to have the electrical done and get started on the next project because once the bed frame and walls and everything starts getting together, we'll really start to feel like it's a van and not a metal box. Well, I mean, it's always been a van, but it'll feel more like a tiny home. Than... Like a home. That's yeah. what we're shooting for. I want to pull everything out and shop back all this metal out of here because we still have tons of metal all over the van. Okay. And then we'll call it a night. That sounds like a you project. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Aaron. Hey, as I did always. help. You did help. I'm inside cooking dinner. Where are you? Yeah, I'm making Indian tonight. Are you? Yes. What kind? I'm making Indian tonight. I mean, I'm, I'm pumped if you Indian do it well. Tonight. A lot of I'm pressure. Indian. This is my friend's uh, mother's recipe, straight from India, so I'm thinking it'll be quite good if we can pull it off. A kid holding up a school project. Hey, Burpee. Burpee. More Burpee. One more Burpee. Another. I got pooped on by a bird in the van. I'm scared it's gonna happen again, but I was standing like on the edge here and I felt something land on my head and I wiped it and it was warm. <laughs> so gross. So I ran inside, took a quick shower, and now I'm back to work. The hazards of van life that I didn't even know. As we work, Aaron takes a nap. <laughs> <laughs>